Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwan Yasha Allah, Koholoyimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakhakotas, the Ba'ana Swar Apostles and Elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just want to touch on. These young ladies right here, and, and, and it's a, you know, <laughs> our women are just out of control, man. This is how you know that we are the children of Israel as well. Uh, I mean, I would always like to say in these last days, because we are in the last days, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites, and the last place you want to be in these last days, when the Lord comes, is in a goddamn jail, man, in a prison, locked up. Where chaos is about to break loose and your ass is stuck in a jail cell. Here you go. You got two. Well, I mean, even with the makeup off, they're not bad looking ladies. But they're, you know, gorgeous ladies with the makeup on, as you can see. Two Haitian boss chicks busted in Alabama with $3 million in coke <laughs> driving from Houston. And they, hey, I lived in Alabama just up the street from that, that, this particular spot. Years back, you know, but hey, they going to give they asses the business. They're not getting out of there. You know, even if they give up whoever it is that they might have been um, transporting this, this shit for, they're still not getting out of there. They're going to get some some decent amount of time. They might throw them, a, you know, a little few bones, tell on this nigga, tell on that nigga, tell on him, him, him. They going to, you know, get the singer like, you know, some 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 fucking. R&B singers, which the one on the left right here, she is an R&B singer. Not a bad singer, neither. The one right here on the right, you know, she had a, a low, 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 I consider to be a successful business. Just not enough, though. Our women are out here out of control, and it's just not, they, you know, it's that, 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 that social media life. See, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native women, you got to, American women, you got to get out of that social media life. You got to get off that goddamn Instagram. You, matter of fact, if you ask a woman for her phone number these days, she's like, ah, oh, well, I, I'm, I got an Instagram. Oh, well, I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's generally what you're going to get out of a, a woman these days. They're going to tell you I got an Instagram. And, I mean, it is what it is. This is the days and times that you're living in. But it's they, our people are not content. They don't have enough. They're chasing the bag. You know, they, they must have more. They have to have more, right? But anyway, let's um let's see here. Let me just get let's get the short let's get the short version. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine confiscated on I-10 in Mobile County. Two women, one from Florida and one from California, face drug trafficking charges. Mobile County deputies say they stopped Melissa Dufour and Raquel Antolio on the interstate. The women reportedly told them they were on their way to Atlanta from Houston. A narcotics canine signaled drugs in their SUV, and when deputies searched it, they reportedly found hidden traps in the floorboard and side walls with 217 pounds of cocaine worth $2.1 million. Both of those women are... See? You see them, you see them, them so-called white boys standing there? Hey, they love that. that. That's a big hit for them. Look at them. They proud as shit. That's a big hit for them. Go along with their dog. That's a big hit for them so-called white boys. And you already know the type of shit they talking about. The type of shit that they saying about these so-called Negro women. They think they're going to come into our town. They're going to, you know. <laughs> you know, and this is how they get down. This is Esau, man. Like, he's loving it. You know? So, what can you say, though? I mean, shit, man. Hey, you can't feel sorry for, for what's going on with these women, man. These women are, are down near 40. They're in their late 30s mid 30s you know what i'm saying and they trying to hit that lick and it, it, it and the lick caught up with their asses 2.1 million dollars both of those women are in metro jail and there you have it those women are in metro jail right let me see uh this one right here oh my goodness this chick right here probably like a month ago yeah. a month ago Supposedly, but he don't claim her child, but she's supposed to have a child by him. 
And I just wanted to see what it was like, how I knew he'd be fucking other girls. And there you go. Here you go. She's got five kids by one nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, and, and I was just listening to this. It, it, this was just all out bugged out. The way she was talking. Hey, I I, I had to agree with homeboy right here. He, he said wherever she's at, she definitely brings the 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 uh <laughs> the real estate value down. The way she was kicking it, man. When I say just ugh, disgusting. No woman should ever be talking like that. You know, just the shit that was coming out of her mouth. But she basically had a threesome with her, her baby daddy and one of his baby mamas just so she could see how he be doing other women. And all. just just look, man, our women are all out of control, man. But let me just grab a quick scripture real fast, man. And I'm not going to keep this long, but out of control. And, and we I, we can go on all night. You, you can look up videos all night long on the so-called black woman, especially. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women, you can look up videos all night long and see the type of foolishness that they're into, man. Anyway, though, it is what it is. Like I said again, though, in these last days, the last place you want to be is in a damn jail cell. If I'm going to jail, I want it to be for this gospel. I don't want it to be for no bullshit. I can't even imagine going to jail for... <laughs> shit just a pound of weed these always get caught with three three million dollars worth of coke you know what i'm saying like I, I can't even i mean you know i can't even, i mean you know i don't even want to go to jail for, for a night of, of of i mean come on bro golly isaiah 32 skip verse 9 start there rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters give ear unto my speech Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall not, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. You see, so you're, you're supposed to be repenting, man. You need to be repenting in these last days. You're at ease. You're on Instagram. You you know you're able to get all these likes. You're able to get all these comments from these simp's. You know what I'm saying? They flying you in and out of cities. You can get flown to a whole other country just on the way that you look. You don't mind showing everybody your thing thing. <laughs> and the shit is, is out of hand. And and what it's, it's done done is it's done definitely lowered your value. It's done lowered the value of women. You so-called black women especially, man. Niggas be looking like it, it ain't nothing but let me just get in where I fit in and, and keep it moving. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, the scriptures is, is telling you to repent. You're, you're too at ease in, in this place. You see? And then they're so at ease to the point where they really thought that they could just travel across the country with that amount of dope on them. And, oh, we're just pretty girls, you know. There's no way we're going to get stopped. They're standing on the damn freeway giving conflicted stories and shit. She's saying this. The other one is saying this. You know? And then you already know. Uh, one of them gonna, gonna, gonna sing like both of them probably gonna sing but anyway just wanted to just touch on this man um you know y'all gotta wake up and repent man we're living in the last days last days last days last place um, we talking about women that are almost 40 i guess they were just trying to shoot that last move but it just it, it's enough is just not enough for our women or men but this goes back to eve when Eve was beguiled by the serpent, what did he do? He stepped to her like, hey, look, nah, you can have this, 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 and this. And what did she do? She went for it. And, and some nigga probably ran up on both of them like, you know, hey, y'all make this move. Y'all do this, 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 and this. I'm going to give y'all this amount. I'm going to give you this amount. And now here your ass go. You in a whole nother city. Not, not only are you in jail, you're not even in jail where you from. You in jail in a whole nother, you in the country. With some real, when I say rednecks, <laughs> trust me, man. I lived there before. I understand the process of being there. There, the last place I would want to go to damn jail at is in the south, man. In a place like that, man, with a bunch of goddamn rednecks. And they gonna get that business, man. I mean, it is what it is, man. But hey, this is this is the lifestyle of our people. Our people are, you know, destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's why that scripture, uh, Micah two and ten, it says to come out of this place. 
You have to actually, you have to be content with what it is that the Lord is blessing you with, man. I don't think, they probably don't even have no children. Maybe so. Who knows? Maybe that's why they was out here. I got to get it, girl. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Yep, let me get that again. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's the reason why hey, we, we live by our daily bread. We ask the Lord for our daily bread. We get up, we go to work, we do what we have to do. We come home, we take care of the family, take care of the house, you know, take care of the bills. Have the work done on the car if it needs work. Get an oil change. You know, you know things that just we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep things running smoothly. All that old extra shit. Because, see, let's get this real quick. Because mainly what it is is it's that, that mammon, man. The love, of, the love of money. Matthew 6 and 24 says, No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. See, and not that they was, you know, trying to serve Yahweh. You know, we can clearly see what they was into. You know what I'm saying? They was after that Mammon. They was after that money. And matter of fact, that, that scripture, I was kicking it with the neighbor. Just a few days ago about this. He actually brought it up. I didn't even speak on it. He the one that brought it up. I was like, okay, yeah. And we was kind of kicking it on. And I was going off into that love of it. Uh, first Timothy 6 and 10 it says for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some covet after it after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows and this is talking about somebody that's in the faith you, and so you can imagine a person that don't know the scriptures the, a person that that's not into this truth they just out here just um, brute beast man just going for it here you go you got women this goddamn pretty let me go back to it you got women this fucking pretty, man. Millions of dollars. So like you. I mean, because they're not bad looking ladies. I'm just going to pause, try and pause it here. But as you can see right here, they're not bad looking ladies. You know? And you can see the one, she just got that dumbass smirk on her face. And she, hey, that smirk is going to turn to a real. This one to the right, she's looking worried. It says boss chicks busted with three million in coca. Not a good look, man. That's not gonna. That's not gonna turn out well for um some people, man. It's probably gonna. And you know Jake. You know what I'm saying? Jake probably already done. Hey, say something. Talk. Say something. And if and, you know, and, and, and I'm gonna put that hit out on whoever you love. <laughs> I know where your grandmama live. I know where your mama live. I know where your, you know, say something. So it's gonna be some things. It's gonna be some after effects to this thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Hey, that trying to live that lifestyle is not worth it, man. We're, we're, we're trying to just make it to the end. That's it. We're just trying to just make it to the end, man. That's it. Real talk. We're just trying to make it and, and pray to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? That he will have mercy on us. That he will not blow out our candlestick. And that when time comes, if, the, if, 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 if battering rams are hitting our doors, we want it to be for this gospel. Not for no goddamn dope, man. Not for no sorcery. Not for no witchcraft. Not for no pharmacia, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and they through. These chicks are through. All the Instagram, what you gonna do now? You gonna you gonna you gonna post on Instagram and, and your jail cell and your orange suit. And, and you got um women in jail that be doing that shit. You know, hey, I don't, you know, hey, they still be popping. They still they popping in that world. But it is what it is. I just wanted to touch on this, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Ashala, repent, man. We're living in the last days.